I was in uh, civil engineering and in my engineering school in France, in Paris. It's ESTP Paris. It's well known for civil engineering and mechanical and electrical engineering as well. And so I done it for two years and I'm in double degree now. So I'm still in a uh, student in ESTP and a student here at, at Quadfield. We were a group of five people with three different nationality, nationality um, French, Indian and Welsh. Uh, we were working on a multi-water offshore wind turbine, floating offshore wind turbine. Um, at the moment it's not a commercial one, there are only projects about it and we thought it will be a good idea to have two wind turbines on one platform, offshore platform because it will be cost effective, they will produce more energy. So we took it to the design, the process, the cost and what's going to be in the future. I think we cover most, mostly everything on the project. It was really, interest, really interesting because it's relatively new and it was really good to work with different people, uh, different minds as well. So it was really challenging, but really great. Choose Cranfield, of course, but choose your MSc well. Don't hesitate to ask questions to alumni, professor or students. For my part, uh, before applying to M offshore MSc, I was asking questions about the MSc with the course director. I uh, like a meeting with him to talk about what's going to be, what lecture I will have, etc. and what, I will, what job offer can I have after. So yeah, look at the website, it's really, really, really good. And ask questions with alumni or professor. I might be found something really good. I applied for an internship, six months an internship in Monaco, in the uh, SBM uh, offshore company. And after it will be a graduate program. Uh, three times six months in Brazil, Africa or China. So I cross finger that the internship agreement will be okay and I will have it. I have six flatmates. We share a kitchen, it's really good. We set up some diner each two weeks to share with everybody. Uh, there are different nationalities, but I think that's a really good strength for Cranfield to have Indian, Chinese people, or English people, everybody, Spanish people as well, because we can share uh, uh, our mind or our thought about what we think about Cranfield, what we think about the life and the jobs after. Um, we have an access to library as well. We have an access to plenty of room if you want to work, so that's really good. And the life in Cranfield is, yeah, it's good. Even if it's countryside, we have an access to big cities if we want with a bus. So that's great. I think it's a good project because it's two months. For us, it was really hard because we worked a lot and we were all the time together, working all the day. We meet up in rooms, have lunch together and just when we done the presentation, after we went to do a barbecue together and it was a working team, but a friend team, I think so.